people, I'm here with uh, Weather Video. Um, it's going to be a shorter video because I am on a tight time schedule tonight. And I don't have much time. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to be checking out the severe weather and some long threats. Um, but, yeah, so this is the rest of tonight's. This is the 2000 UTZ Day 1 Convective Outlook. You can see there's an enhanced risk in Louisiana, Arkansas, and Texas down here. Slight risk and a marginal risk. So, uh, the, there's a good tornado threat, uh, but then the wind is the major threat. Hail is the second major threat, and you have a tornado threat. Um, so, hey, have a tornado. There is a pretty decent tornado threat, okay? And especially in the city, cities of Shreveport is right in the middle of it, Shreveport, Louisiana. So, y'all in Shreveport need to be safe. I think the storms have already gone over y'all as of right now, but I'm not 100% sure. But. But uh, t for tomorrow's outlook for with Thursday, May 9th, um, yeah, Thursday, May 9th, that is correct. You can see there's a large, broad, slight risk encompassing most of Louisiana, most of Mississippi, eastern or western Tennessee, uh, western and central Kentucky, southern Illinois, southern Indiana, and southeastern, southeastern Missouri, and most Arkansas, uh, Memphis, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, Louisville, Kentucky, Lexington, Fayette, and Baton Rouge, Louisiana are under the gun. Then there's a marginal risk in Houston, Texas, and San Antonio, Indianapolis, Indiana, Columbus, Ohio, and Austin, Texas has a marginal risk for severe weather. But then as we go to uh, Friday's severe, Friday, May 10th, you can see there's, there's a few marginal risks, one in the Appalachians and then one in uh, South Texas towards Houston and Baton Rouge. But... Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I don't think there's any four to eight outlooks really issued. Not one, four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight. Okay. But so now let's check out the long term. You can see we have a low pressure system bringing the severe weather to the south. Storms will fire up along that. But then we have some lo small low pressure systems like uh, this one up here, spinning up some showers across the south on Saturday. Um. And Sunday. And those will move out. And maybe some snow, as you all can see, across the Colorado Mountains in northern New Mexico. And even some of the Sierras, but not talking any, like, uh, normal snowfall. Maybe some in Maine, as you can see, uh, Thursday, May 16th. And at night, you maybe see a little, maybe some snow in Maine. But it's possibility there's not it's not likely um and then you have a yeah you still i don't think this will ever happen again because this is like a big winter class low pressure system you see this more in the winter than in the summer because you see the more to the north i think you don't really see these um that's one thing i hate about chromebooks um and yeah let's check out rainfall total accumulated preset yeah, look at this, maybe six to nine inches across the south. Um, and then, yeah, widespread. There could be some flooding across Louisiana and Texas. And now I'll check out snowfall. And then let's wrap up this video as I'm running out of time to record. Okay. And you can see, yeah, I don't think there will be much snow. You can see some in the Colorado Mountains. So that's going to wrap up this video. Right, a very short video. Very short. But I really monetize time schedule. So I hope well, I, I will talk to y'all or post tomorrow and yeah peace